If your Verizon Fios TV box is running slow or not working, one of the best things that you can do is reboot both the TV box and the router. Now, if you just got Fios, it's gonna take you through the setup process. They're gonna ask you if you want to reboot the router. Technically, you don't need to do it. But if you do want to reboot the router, I am gonna walk you through how to do it and also how to reboot the set-top box. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, if you've never rebooted your router before, it's not super hard. It's pretty simple. The only thing is, if you have a battery backup for your internet, this will kill your internet connection. So, just be aware of that. If you have any security cameras or anything like that, they'll probably go down during this time. Now, there are actually two ways to reboot the router. One is through the Verizon app. You can go ahead and click on your account icon in the top right and then click on the equipment you see here. And then from here, you're going to look for your router. Mine is this Axiontech Screen Beam Pro. You can click on it and then at the bottom, you're going to see a restart button. So I can go ahead and click on that and this will restart my router. Just takes a minute or so to do that. The other way to restart your router is to find the little reset button somewhere on the back or bottom of your router. So depending on where your router is located, you might have to move something or get a ladder, but look for a little reset button. It'll either be red or yellow, and when you press it, it usually says reset or something like that. So once you find that button, go ahead and hold it down for about 10 seconds until the lights on your router start flashing, and once they start flashing, you know it's been reset. Then you can let go of the button and give it about 30 seconds to fully reboot. All right, now we've rebooted the router. How do we reboot the TV box? Well, there's two ways to do it. One is with the remote control and the other is manually. So I line show you first how to do it with the remote and then I line show you how to do it manually just in case you do and have the remote. So on the remote, what you regon na do is press the menu button and then scroll up or down depending on where the power button is. Usually, it's at the bottom, so I'll press the one, then the power button turns off the TV box. Now, some boxes will ask you to confirm that you want to shut it down. You can just hit yes on that. And then, once the TV box is powered off, I'll count to 30 and then hit the power button again to turn it back on. So, again, one, the power button turns it off. If it asks you to shut it down, just hit yes. And then after about 30 seconds, you can hit the power button again to turn it back on. So the other way to reboot the TV box is by unplugging the power cord. However, I would only recommend doing this if you have the remote because you might run into an error message that says you need to use the remote. So what I am going to do is turn off the TV box with the remote and then unplug the power cord. You're going to count to 30, and then once you get to 30, you're going to plug it back in and then turn it back on with the remote. Alright, so the other thing I want to talk about is a factory reset. What is a factory reset and when would you use that? Well, the difference between a factory reset and just restarting or rebooting is that when you just reboot, you're starting it back at the same spot it was at before. When you do a factory reset, you are resetting it all the way back to when you first took it out of the box. For example, you'll have to go through the channel setup again. All of your preferences will be gone. Everything will be reset back to factory defaults. So usually you do and have to do this unless you're reselling your house or you're re-giving the TV box to somebody else. Or, if you're having problems and Verizon wants you to do a factory reset, they'll walk you through how to do that. But basically, it has the same process whether you're redoing a factory reset or just rebooting the TV box. It's the same buttons, so we've restarted the router and we've restarted the TV box. Is there anything else you need to know? Well, I would say yes. There are some advanced settings that you might want to know about, especially if you're having problems. So if you go to the Home tab and then the Gear for Settings and then you go to System, you'll see Network. And if you click on that, you're going to see where it says Release IP Address. 
You can go ahead and click on that, and then this is going to forget the Wi-Fi name and password. So then you lines have to go back and reconnect it to your Wi-Fi, but this can help if you're re-having problems connecting to the Wi-Fi. You might just want to try releasing the IP address. Another setting that you might want to change is the DNS settings. So if you go back to network, you're going to see it says use ISP settings. You can go ahead and change that to use custom name servers, and then you can put in Google SDNS. So the first one is 8.8, 8.8, and then the second one is 8844. Once you put those in, it should connect, and then you've changed from whatever Verizon SDNS settings are to Google S, which sometimes can be a little bit better. All right, so those are the steps for how to restart your router and your Fios TV box. Hopefully this was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about this, and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more tech tips like this. Have a great day!